Hello, it's Sarah. This is Wednesday, and I've been wanting to make a video for you guys. I just appreciate you so much. Um, so this is the final piece from the subscription box I ordered from Erica Joanne Art. This is called Twilight Mushrooms, I believe. Let me double check. But anywho, Mushroom Twilight. Um, it came with the etched watercolor paper and the little board that I, well, this isn't glued, that I glued it to, and then the easel as well. The next box should be shipping soon. I think she's doing a convention, so there, it may be a little late. I think she was hoping to ship around the 17th, which is today, but that being said, it'll get here by the end of the month. The next class we'll do will be in May. But, so this is the little mushrooms. I just, it's a it's called Woodland Whimsy. That's the, the theme for this year's box. And so we've done lots of little things I've shared along the way. Here's my briar bunny. Where are you? Anyway, it's on the wall. I've shared them. But I decided to make some of these little ornaments out of these mushrooms too. And I'm gonna send these to, I wanna send one to an owl pal of mine. Anyway, um, and there was a mist, like a twilight mist in the background. And because this wasn't on watercolor paper, I had trouble getting the paint to kinda come off like on the damp dry brushing technique. So I did it on the original, but on these, I wasn't able to get it so I, after I erased it completely on this one because I didn't like the way it turned out. That was the first one I made. And then this one I did it really lightly before I started painting. And then this one I did it darker. So I kind of like this one. It, you get the vibe, but nothing is like that kind of scratchy look that you get when you use watercolor paper. Anywho. So what I want to do today is I'm creating a little project it's kind of, it's using these, probably these techniques. I was going to float, but I'm still working on the damp dry brushing technique. And um, what was I going to say? Um, here she is. This is what I wanted to show you. Shara Reiner. Shara, Shara. It's Sarah with an H. Funky folk art in black kind of was the inspiration. This is what I was thinking about when I painted these little projects I'm going to show you. I just love the simplicity of these and as and I love also doing the black and white check. So here she has a black and white like tablecloth but she puts a little black and white, see the black and white polka dot to have the contrast. She always has a little black and white, not always but usually um, and so when I've done my mandalas, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to get into it. In the past, I've tried to use a yin yang for the black and white and I do it in black and white. Anyhow, so this is the box. It, I started doing them on these, um, magnets. Remember I shared that I got these. Let me see if I have a blank pack. These come from, uh, Hobby Lobby. I have a small pack, but they come in. Oh, wait, I think I have. Yeah, here's the big pack. Magnetic canvas because I was able to get the effect of the watercolor paper because it's a canvas. It literally has the bumpleys, right? Because this is fabric, like mesh that's been adhered to the magnet. Um, so I did those. I did a few of those. I'll share those with you. I got these three done in the bigger version. And then these in the one and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I just chose to do love in my own handwriting and just play and see what happened. And I kind of used the colors that were on my desk from the mushroom. Um, and this is what, so I used, the first time I did them, I used black cherry, I think. Where is it? This. Black plum as the background color. And they're fine. And then this one I did in black, black. So I just started to think about, I like it in black plum, but why not just use black? But then see the black and white, 
this specifically looks like black and white checks and this looks like black plum so it's just personal preference and I just filled them out I'll show you we're gonna I'm gonna walk through it with you how I did it so basically you're just gonna base coat whatever you have and you can just do this on let me measure this I think these are um, two by three now two and three quarters square two and three quarters square so let me just show you um, this is three inch they're three inch squares so if you have a piece of watercolor paper you can paint right along with me um, or if you happen to have these they have the canvases the regular canvases that aren't magnetic um, but for this was $249 regularly $399 you can't beat it so I already have a couple base coated in black so these are the canvases but then of course Joe had maybe these boxes so these are made on the Glowforge um, they have a little tongue and groove that that's how he connected them and this one I didn't put a border on it so I'm still but I think I've worn it this one's done I just left it plain because this was the first one I did and I put this border on the edge of the lid and the bottom isn't painted yet because I'm not sure what I want to do if I want to leave it plain because it's already too much with just the border so I'm not sure you can put in the comments and then I add little bits of bling I have all this bling I'll show you you can get these in little kits like this I think I got these at Michael's but I Ooh, excuse me I know Hobby Lobby has them for sure this one I've had forever and I'm running out these this was just an empty case that I got crystals and just put them in there so I've had crystals in my stash forever these are kind of gold all different colors with a B and anywho so pull see that's what I'm loving is combining all the different uh, media so I could put glitter on here because I mean Erica did which one did we put glitter on this was not part of the um, this is from her VIP group but see how we put glitter I don't know if you can see it in the camera but there's glitter on her halo and glitter on her wings so just because it's a painted piece you can still add three-dimensional um, bling and things like that to it so on these I'm just adding these little crystals so see I put red blue green wherever you want to do it and I use gold paint too so let's get started the first thing you're gonna need is a chalk pencil mine is actually called this is it this is the generals pastel chalk 4414 white and I'm gonna first make the border so I'm gonna come down a little bit and I'm just eyeballing it you can take a ruler and do it if you want to I guess it's approximately it's not it's not quite a quarter inch probably but you just want it to be even-ish I like the handmade element of it I don't want it to be perfect this is my handwriting so I did end up tracing one of them so that I could possibly make a pattern but every one is different every single one is different I haven't used the pattern like if you look at them they're similar because I'm trying to keep this loop here and then make a loop in the corner but see how this is more straight up and down this one comes over the hearts are different shapes the ease I they're just different every one is different this is a little more angled you know so I'm basically just having them fit in this space um, so let's start so I think I like to make the L first and the E and then I know how much room I have in the middle to put the heart and I'm I'm liking this flower let's see on this one I put two flowers and leaves going both ways and on this one I just put one flower with leaves and you can do I think I've done it with no flower this one I just have polka dots and then I put bling and this one I have 
two yellow flowers in this direction. So it's really for you to just let your little kids have fun playing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go make a loop. And I think I like to bring my L over. So I don't know. I think that's just how this one's going to be. I'm going to put my E And then my V, the, the heart is a V. So I, I've been trying to shape, change the shape of it. See how this is a little more V shape. It has like more boxy heart. Um, this one has a nice V to it. You know, it actually, you know, hearts are V shaped. So anyway, what I'm trying to do is save room for my O, yet make a nice size heart. So I'm going to go up. And let's see, there's not a lot of room. I'm going to erase this and make it a little more narrow so I can fit my um, O there. Perfect. And then I like to make this little loopy O, like a cursive. And I think I'll make this end right here instead of going close to the E. So that's when, then you start to adjust and make it kind of how you want it to show up. Yeah, I like that. It's different than all the other ones. Like my E could come down a little lower, but I'm going to sign my name right here. Like you could make your E. So let's do another one. We'll see how this one comes out. <laughs> so each one, I just start by making a little. I just eyeball it. A border. I'm going to put my black and white checks there. Oops. And then I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to still keep with the same shape L, but let's make it a little more. Um, no, I want to keep it kind of up and down. I just like that shape. Then my E, let's see if I make it more. I could make it loopy, but you know what? We could also cross over. Now I don't have anywhere to write my name, so I'll maybe I'll write my name somewhere else. Let's make the E, the V, and I like to take up this room, but I need to save room over here for my O. So I'm going to go up. And then there should be enough room here because my O can just be up and down. I don't love that O. My loop looks weird. Let me try to make a different kind of O this time. <sighs> um, see, like, I could make more room for my O if this was more straight up and down, but I'm gonna keep, I'll be able to do it. Let's make it more like, I'll make the loop this way. I like that better. All right, so see, that's it. And then if you want a flower, I like this little area right here for the flower because there's room here for it to kind of be half on and half off. But you could put, you could put dots going down, like I like that, or could, we could make stroke marks, like little strokes. Um, there's so many, I like the idea of adding a flower just because I, and it doesn't have to be yellow. Like maybe I'll make one of my letters yellow and then I could make a purple flower, you know? So let's just start painting. So Erica uses um, just Sonia paint. So I happen to have them on my desk, but you can use whatever type craft paint you have in your stash um, and choose colors that make you happy. So for this one's already done, this is what we're going to do right now is just get base coated. And I'm going to use a brush that I can make line work. And this one happens to be called, I don't know if I'm going to use this one or the um, detailer. I have one that's called a detailer. My desk is so full of stuff. So hold on, let me find it. These are my um, Prismacolor pencils. But there's one called a detailer that also... That's a midliner. 
you just want something that you can pull a stroke with kind of all right it's not in there just giving or you could use just a number three or a number two round this one's called a liner it's a number two liner right here it is detailer found it I don't know what the difference is this one's called a detailer it's a number two detailer I'm gonna get it wet I think it's a little fatter but it has a pointy tip to it and then the liner is the same like height actually the details are a little taller the liner has more of a flat um, tip to it it's not as pointy it flattens out at the tip so I'm gonna use this detailer it's a little longer and what we're gonna do is kind of stroke in these letters first so I'm gonna use um, I'm just gonna stick with the colors that I used already because I want to just keep it simple and I don't I want to make the video as short as possible because it's already long I've been talking and this is a Josonia green. It's called um, Leaf. And that's this base coat color. But then I'm going to highlight with uh, yellow green. So I'm putting this bright color on top of this color. And I just need a little bit. And then I'm going to use Flow Medium, but you don't need to. But Josonia paint works nice with Flow Medium. But you can just use water. You want the paint to be... A little more like ink than paint you want it to flow off the bristles so that you can get a nice stroke now Erica wouldn't teach you this way because she likes the um, damp dry brush she likes it to like skip along so that you get those scratchy looks but I am Sarah and I'm gonna do it my way and I definitely turn my piece because I like to pull strokes toward me or Oh, you know like this way instead of going away from me I could probably do both but so right now I'm gonna do this part of the L and I'm gonna set this down kind of get it wide and then pick up my brush to the tip just gonna fix it and just let it be kind of fade away there I'm gonna reload a little bit and I'm gonna put the tip down and then push to make it thicker so it's a, it's like a stroke but i'm using the tip of my brush push down and then pick up and i'm going to go over this and make it more opaque let's go over here and push down and then pick up and push down so see you get a little more like a cursive writing vibe when you pick up and push down and then I'm just going to fix it. So anywhere that it didn't, that I don't like the shape, I'm just going to thicken it up a little. Or This one looks pretty good. I don't have a lot of touching up to do. I want it to be a little bit more opaque so that when I put the highlight on there, keep this narrow. I really like the shape that that made. And then this doesn't have to be much thicker. like that there's a lot of room there so I'm just filling that space so that's the L see if you keep fudging with it it'll grow okay I'm gonna rinse my brush I think I am going to make this O yellow. I think I'll make the E yellow. So I'm going to grab that yellow. This is called Turner Yellow. And again, it's a Josonia color. Just because, but I have primary CAD yellow. It's a little brighter. Whatever yellow you have in your studio works. And I'm, again, just putting out a little bit. And I'm going to put a little drop of Flow Medium. And this is Josonia um, products because this is how she designed her paint got my detailer and I'm just mixing that together I probably could use I think that's a little too watery I'm gonna put a little more paint I don't want it to be too liquidy I'm 
So let's see. I like to do my E's with a nice fat part right here to push and pick up. And then I'm going to do See, I went over a little. I'll probably just take a Q-tip and try to get that off. You can always use the black afterward to clean things up too. If you put, if you get color where you don't want it, that looks good. And then for the E, should I go fat thin? I think I'll go fat thin because this could be fat thin, fat here thin. Or I could do fat thin. I think I'm going to do fat thin here. Fat. And that's what my E looks like. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, and then I'll go in and get it more opaque while we do our red. And all you have to do is base coat. And the red I'm using is called country red, and this is an Americana color, because. Um, um, there isn't kind of a country red base coat in Jasonia, and so Joanne, Erica Joanne, uh, had us mixing color, but this is my favorite red in Americana colors. So I just I'm using this. I just love it again. Decorate Americana country red, and I'm gonna base coat it with like a number three round. Look what I did to my number three. When you leave it in water, it gets all, water comes down and melts the paint off the, but I'll use, a, she uses, Erica Joanne uses um, the number three round a lot, so I'll just end up getting more. And I'm just base coating this. Oops, am I in the shot? So sorry. I usually use a, a flat brush to base coat, um, but the number three flattens out nicely. See how I'm just flattening it out and able to get the edges. I just figured I would, you know, love is such a beautiful thing. Um, learning so much about it because um, I'm learning how to love myself, be kind to myself. So love was just on my mind. I've been painting this for the past like couple, two, three days. And just because of my son, Matthew, um, how much we were blessed to have him and um, we loved him and he loved us back. It was so great. So I'll let that dry too and then I'll give it another kind of once over to get it opaque. Because you can see the black coming through a little bit. And then I'm going to do that O with the blue and then I'll do, this is called aqua actually. It's like a teal color. Love it. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to stroke that uh, O in with my detailer. It rolled away. I'm used to using water all the time. I never used any mediums. You don't need mediums with these. These are made differently than the Josonia paint. These actually contain sealer. They have a lot of other properties like when I have base coated something and I go to get a top coat off, I will dissolve the underneath paint because there's no sealer in this paint. So it's a different animal. So just so you know, that's why there are mediums. You don't need them. This isn't like a professional, you know, I'm just getting used to understanding it. So let's see. I think I'm going to go thick on the bottom thick to thin and then hmm because I could go thick th see this has to be I think I want to do thin thick so thin thick 
thick right here. And then thin. Oops, I touched it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want thin. I think I have to put thin up here. I don't have to, but I'm going to go thin, thick. Oh dear. Oh dear. And I always have a cotton swab Q-tip. That looks good. It's fine. And then as an accent at the end, I do a gold uh, line kind of edging everything. Can you see that? Uh, there's a gold line around each of the letters. Let's see. I don't know if that is too shiny. There you go. You can see it. Yeah, the, the, and then there's a gold line separating your edge too. But these, this is just fun. I just enjoy it. So now we have to decide if we're going to put a flower. I am going to put a flower right here. So I'll draw that on. Let's let that dry and I'll show you how I do my checks. I am just going to use a flat brush. This little flat brush is dry. I am singing Billy Joel. I saw that concert on TV the other night and they cut it off right at Piano Man. They went to the news, <laughs> which was so weird. Um, I am looking for my flat brush and it's, I don't understand, it should be right here. Here it is. This is what happens when you have a lot of stuff on your desk. So. I'm going to get out the white, which I'm just using black, uh, Blanco <gasps> Ceram Coat, Delta Ceram Coat. It's just what I have. I have a big bottle of it, so I'm going to use it. Um, and you want this kind of thick. You don't, I'm going to go into water, tap, and then I'm just going to load my brush with the water that's in the bristles. And you don't want a ton of paint. Like, I'm just going to load the bottom like the tip half and blot and load the tip and I'll show you why because when we make these little checks and here's the what I do I like to leave the corner black so I start my first check um, right following that line and I just eyeball it that's a little close but I'll go to this side and then start making my way toward the middle so that you can kind of eye eyeball it. If you want to, you could draw lines on here and really make sure that you feel comfortable. See, I think those were too close together. So on, on the box, there are actual notches in the wood. But on these, let's see if I did. See how I spaced these further apart? doesn't matter. The only thing I want to do is make sure that I start each row right here so that I know the corner is black and that just keeps it I think your eye, my eye likes that just knowing that all the corners are the same and then I mean if you're a stickler for it you might want to count, like maybe put one in the middle. How about we put one in the middle? And then in the middle of them, that's what I should do. Look at that. And then it's going to be even every time. Oh, I just figured it out. <laughs> so we're going to go in the middle. And again, it's eyeballing it, but I'm in the middle. I think my head would be right over it if I was I would get my head in the way. So I'm just going to go eyeball in the middle. And you just let the brush do the work for you. So I'm not really um, loading every time. I'm just letting the brush do it. And I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll do a little a little brighter. But if you like the patchiness that you get, it looks good. This isn't perfection. So let me think of where I want to put my flower. And do I want more than one? 
I think I'm just going to put a small one. See, I could put a nice one over here too. Kind of more on the flower. Did I do that yet? Here's what it looks like when it's over there. And here's what it looks like when it's over here. I think I'll just do one over here so that you get the, that both of these are, you have one on each side. So I'm going to make a small one here. And it's going to be blue. And I like five petals, but you could make six petals. So I just start to one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll make a, a couple of leaves. It just looks cute. Maybe one leaf, but I, I mean, it would be bigger. I think I'll make two leaves. Good. Okay, so we're going to use the same green that we used for the um, L. And just I stroke in those leaves. So I like to start at the tip. So I'm just loading my brush. And then I just put the tip and pull, tip, pull, and then fill in. Same thing on this one. Tip, pull. A little strokey too and then fill it in. I think I made a pink dot on this center but I think I'm just gonna make a green dot just to that's I don't need a another color added to the mix you know so let's make a green center. I have green um, bling little green crystals. Oops, look how my center grow, my circles grow. It's so funny. And then I'm going to use this color for the flower. It's called Pacific Blue. And it's like a bluish purple. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to stroke these petals in the same way I just did the leaves. And then you're just going to go back in and fine tune everything. And then we're going to highlight. So let me just get this. Most of the highlighting is going to be done by just adding white to the base color, except for green. That's where I'm using that um, yellow green. But the rest of the colors, I'm just going to add white to lighten the, the bottom color. So if you want to make them pointy, like this one, I ended up having little points which is very cute. Um, this one is just super round. I think I, I am a person who just, I get bored if it's the same every time, so we'll just see what happens. Maybe I'll start at this, am I in the shot? At this end. And you can always touch up if you want to have more space in between. Um, easy enough to I don't know how this is going to see I think the yellow showed up really nice on the red so before you do yours decide if you think this is showing up enough I know that when we highlight it'll definitely help but that yellow really popped on the red and that's probably why I chose it to begin with you know I mean there's nothing wrong with that on camera it looks really bright so Right. I'm just going to rinse my brush. I'm going to go back to my green and just touch up anything like where I can see the black showing through. Although the highlight is going to go right on top of that and you will and it would cover it just fine. But I'm going to make sure just make sure I like everything. And it's just for the fun of it. You can take as many swipes at this as you want if you're enjoying it. There's no rules. I think right here it looks a little... There we go. I may as well throw in a little extra on this center and see if my leaves, yeah, I can do a little more on my leaves. 
but again they're going to be highlighted too. I put a gold line around them too. The yellow definitely needs to be touched up. So I'll go off camera, save us a little bit of time, and I'll come back in the next video with all the highlighting and the penciling and finishing up. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a grateful day.